welcome to the presentation of the Azure Red Team Apprentice Certification offered by Hacktrace Training. In this presentation, we will very briefly talk about the contents of the certification, how it differs from the Azure Red Team Expert 1, the few requirements it has, and of course about how to start the certification. We hope to get you on board and start learning with us very soon. Ok, so what could you expect from the certification Azure Red Team Apprentice? Well, first of all, this certification has more than 15 lessons, its lesson having the slides and videos used to explain the content. In the videos you will be able to find the explanation of the content, but also some super interesting demos of different enumeration techniques and also attacks. Of course, on each lesson you will also have some extra links you can visit to learn more about the topic. Then, this certification also offers more than 20 hands-on labs, where you will be able to practice the content you have learned and the proposed real love based attacks to improve your technical skills in Azure and N3D. Finally, this certification doesn't have a final exam, but you will need to complete all the labs to show your expertise in Azure in order to obtain your Azure Red Team Apprentice Certificate. You might be interested also in knowing the differences between this certification and the Expert version 1, the Azure Red Team Expert. Well, the expert version actually has more than 30 lessons, more than 60 labs, and actually has an exam that you need to pass in order to get certified. Also notice that this apprentice version is just a subset of the expert version 1. And now let's take a look to how the certification is organized. It has four main sections, being the first one Azure and N3D basics. The first section covers basic Azure and N3D concepts and objects, such as the hierarchy of Azure environments, N3D tenants, principles, and how to use the main CLI tools. During these lessons, you will learn all you need to understand about how Azure and N3D works, different ways to access N3D principles, and how permissions works. This basically means that you don't need any previous experience with Azure on N3D in order to take this course, because we are going to be starting from the very, very basics of Azure and N3D, so later we can get into more complex topics. Let's now continue with the second section. This is Azure and N3D Services Exploitation. So during this section, you will learn how the most common Azure and N3D services and objects work. Moreover, you will learn how to enumerate and use or abuse them to escalate privileges, persist in the subscription, or perform other post exploitation attacks. So during this lesson, we are going to be focusing on the most common Azure and N3D services, we are going to be explaining them, and also we are going to be explaining how we could attack them, because a real security expert in Azure will need to understand how its service could be attacked. And moving on, the third section is called methodologies. So knowing the security basics of Azure and N3D, and with a deep understanding of the core Azure services, you will learn how to perform white box Azure pen tests. So how to audit Azure and N3D environments having read access. Of course, this uh, section is called methodologies. However, the black box methodology is available in the same section in the expert version of this certification. In the apprentice one, we are just going to be focusing on the white box Azure pen tests, just in order to learn how we can find as fast as possible, all the misconfiguration and vulnerabilities inside an Azure and in 3D environment where we have read-only access. And the final section or the fourth section is called Defense Bypasses. In this section, we will learn about the most basic Azure services for login, which could be used to detect malicious behavior. So in this section, we are just going to be focusing on the most basic Azure service that provides us some logs that we could use in order to detect attacks that are happening inside well, an Azure environment. Ok, who should get certified? Who should be interested in this certification? Well, from our side, we have thought about some profiles of people that could be interested in getting certified. For example, pen testers wanting to learn more about cloud hacking, well, this will be a very nice initial step. Sysadmins and DevOps engineers who want to learn about practical cloud security, they could definitely start learning about that in this certification. Tech professionals that want in-depth knowledge about the dangers of the clouds, this is also super interesting. And also people interested in doing the expert version of the certification who want to experience the learning process from Hacktrace training. So if you don't really know if you will be interested in the expert version, you can always start with the apprentice version and later just do the expert one, having, well, a small discount because you have already done the apprentice one. And you might be also be wondering what are the requirements in order to take this course. So if you have some basic networking knowledge and some familiarity with the Linux CLI or Windows PowerShell that we are going to be using during this course, well, uh, you should be able to take the certification to get certified. Moreover, if you have some basic cybersecurity or pen testing knowledge, this will be great because it will be easier for you to understand the attacks we are going to be performing. 
if you don't if you don't have any background in cybersecurity or pen testing, no worries, because of course we are still going to be explaining all the attacks. But just notice that you need to get into the mindset of somebody that wants to attack Azure, because we are actually going to be explaining real life attacks and how they could be well performed. Okay, and hopefully by this time you might be interested in knowing how to access the certification. Well, you just need to go to training.hacktrist.xyz/courses/acrt, register and buy a voucher for the certification. Then, whenever you are ready to start the course, log in into the platform and redeem the voucher to start it. So this basically means that you are going to be able to buy a voucher whenever you can, and then you can wait until the time suits you better in order to start the certification. As once you start it, well, enjoy learning Azure and enjoy the hacking. And of course, if you are watching this video because you have already started the certification, very welcome, thank you very much for trusting us, and we hope you really enjoyed this course and learned a lot.